We are continuing to follow breaking news out of Botetourt County after this scary situation you see right here on the screen behind us at a local daycare. Three people, including a child, are in the hospital after a car plowed into the building. Thankfully, everyone is expected to be okay. So there's still some tense times this afternoon. This happened just before 2 at the Children's Nest Learning Center in Blue Ridge behind the Food Lion just off Route 460. That's where we find 10 News reporter Connor Dietrich. And Connor, we understand that you just learned new information on how this all happened. John Rachel, Virginia State Police just got back to me within the last 15 minutes and told me that the driver is being charged with reckless driving and that her foot got stuck under the pedal. But it all started up here at Knollwood Drive. The driver came down this road here and then rammed into the Children's Nest Daycare Center, which you can see the, it is boarded up where the driver went through the daycare center. When we arrived at the scene, we found parents being reunited with their kids, many of the kids with smiles on their faces to see their moms, dads, grandmas, and grandpas. We also saw the car smashed inside the building, which appeared to have gone through two rooms. We're told four people were injured, three of which were transported to the hospital, including a child. We spoke with the grandma of the child who said she is eight weeks old. All grandma can think about is her baby. I'm tore up. Thinking is my baby okay? Yeah. Do you know kind of the extent of any? They injuries? said she's doing all right. Said she's got a cut in her head, but she's doing okay. Virginia State Police tell us they do not know the status of any of the those injured. They don't know if they've been released from the hospital. But as we learn more information, we'll continue to update you. And a parent told me that this room behind this wood is actually where the babies sleep. And so when you see the scenes of that car going through this and there being just injuries, nobody dead, just no life-threatening injuries as well, parents are saying and even officials here are saying that it is truly a miracle. Live in Botetourt County, I'm Connor Dietrich, 10 News, working for you.